More than a billion people use the social media app TikTok. Every week, almost every day. And then I, I do, you know, I'm, I'm a fitness influencer. That includes UNT dance major Arielle Hillcox. So I post my content and try to make money. But over winter break, students got word the app would be banned on the university's Wi-Fi network following a December 7th order from Governor Greg Abbott that it couldn't be used on government devices. UT Austin and other campuses made the switch this week. Whatever I was open on last, I can look at that, but I can't scroll past it. Nothing new will load, no comments will load. Around 30 public universities across the country now ban the app. The company's ties to China have security experts concerned the government could access private data or use its algorithm to push divisive content. It seems like a very general solution to a very specific problem. SMU journalism professor Jared Schroeder says the bans raise free speech concerns and could hurt the faculty research or student education on the app. If it wants to succeed, if there is a legal challenge, it will need to be more narrow. Uh, limitation. He also points out companies like Google, Meta, and Amazon control data from search, shopping histories, and personal medical information. It's like you've got six or seven pipes leaking in your house, and you're just like, well, I'm going to fix this, and you just stop the leak on one. And you're like, oh, we're done here. In a statement, TikTok said, quote, we're disappointed that so many states are jumping on the political bandwagon to enact policies that will do nothing to advance cybersecurity in their states and are based on unfounded falsehoods about TikTok. I know I should care more, like internet safety is something that I definitely should be more aware of, but it's kind of unfortunate because I'm, I'm a big TikTok user myself. The bans are already raising questions, if not legal challenges. In Denton, I'm William Joy. <coughs>